I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 when my father and brother and I were at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. We also can move about 15, 20 cars a day through the shop. Perfect for you when the weather's bad. So come on down to Tiny and Sons Glass if you need your windshield replaced or repaired. Tiny and Sons Glass, 1-888-64-TINYS. Just call. Thank you. True Rap Theater's production of A Christmas Carol is one that you don't want to miss. The staging is so inventive and highly theatrical. The acting is superb. The ensemble really comes together to bring to life this wonderful new adaptation by Jess Wilson. It's really just a great night of theater, and you should definitely check it out. Please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through a video and audio broadcast on PAC TV Government Access Channel for broadcast at future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. And we can just start with who is here this evening. Orm Clark. Sharon McNamara. Mark Satir. Sandra Simon. Perfect. So I wasn't here for the last meeting. Mark, I heard you uh, were chairman, filled in, did a good job. So yeah. when we do a reorg. Uh, you will be the guy. <laughs> so, just saying. Um, so I wasn't here for the last meeting. So did you get a chance? Did you, Sandra and Bob, get a chance to review the minutes? Yes. yes. Is there? A will we approve the minutes? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So those are approved. Any other topics that anyone needs to discuss or talk about from last week or that letter that you had? Uh, just yeah. So why don't we? You want to do the hearings first and. Yeah, well, we had 710, so what do we have we for had, our next time? We had six, time? five, six minutes before we can have a hearing. Yeah. We'll probably I'm printing this right now. might need more than five minutes to mm -hmm. review the letter. Okay. Um, but uh, it's it's up to you. I think our, we had the same, the same applicant was here for all three, right? Yep. And he was here? Shane. Yep. I saw Shane, yep. Yep, Shane's here. So if, you, uh, if he's ready and we can move it along. Uh, well, we have to wait just in case we have a butters. <laughs> okay. So we'll okay. just we have to wait until seven ten. All right. Why don't we can for that? We can we can, set, yeah, we well, can, you do can brief on the letter and we can yeah, yeah. brief us on what was going on with it, why it came up, and why we need it. Okay. So pursuant to last week's discussion uh, about um, the letter that we were going to draft um, to the city of Brockton, um, this is this is done in conjunction with herring and fisheries and uh, you know some other folks that are all banding together to basically, uh, you know, get to Brockton about the mismanagement of not only um, Gorham Mill and Furnace Pond diversion areas, which are in disrepair, but the general mismanagement of, of the water, mm -hmm. of our water. And, and the uh, selectmen are involved as well, right? They are, okay. they are. So um, I, uh, I've talked to uh, Bill Bolter, who is, mm -hmm. uh, you know, also part of uh, Herring and Fisheries. Mm -hmm about this and the approach was that they were sending a letter, uh, selectmen were sending a letter and we were going to send a letter. So this is a draft that uh, I've come up with. I don't know, should we uh, read it aloud or how, okay. do, we, how do we do this? Uh, I think that we, that? 704, you have time? You want us to read this out loud or do we need Sean, approval we before? Yeah. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So um, again, this is a draft and we're certainly um, looking for, um, you know, edits or exceptions or anything anybody wants to add to it but uh, we have to start somewhere so this is addressed to the uh, the Brockton Water Commission it's stating that the town of Pembroke Conservation Commission is working in conjunction with the Pembroke Herring and Fisheries Commission the Mass Department Division of Marine Fisheries and others in regard to the Brockton Water Commission is knowingly operating broken equipment at the Gora Mill Dam and Furnace Pond diversion areas we understand that several letters and memos sent to the Brockton Water Commission by both the Town of Pembroke and the Commonwealth of Mass have been ignored, and we find this totally unacceptable. As we are acutely concerned about this matter, we are also troubled by the lack of responsible water management by the City of Brockton at Silver Lake, as witnessed last year by the needless killing of an estimated 50 million freshwater mu mussels, of which many are classified as endangered species, by the irresponsible drawdown that occurred when Brockton could have 
tap the resources already at your disposal via Aquaria. Furthermore, the diversion of nutrient-rich rich water from Montponset Pond within the diversion period is having effects on the water quality and ecology in Silver Lake. This once pristine body of water continues to degrade from poor quality of water being diverted into it. In addition, the natural outflow to the Jones River from Silver Lake has been unattainable for many years, disrupt, disrupting the natural spawning activities of fish coming into Silver Lake from Cape Cod Bay. We implore you to take immediate action to repair replace the broken equipment at Gorham Mill Pond Dam and Furnace Pond Diversion Area. We also demand that Aquaria be utilized to its maximum capacity on a daily basis to limit outflows from Silver Lake and stop the long-term process of repairing this cherished body of water for the good of the college of the ecology within it and that would be from the conservation commission mm -hmm. so there's a lot there um it uh you know it's a lot of different points it uh, again it's a draft we can i don't know how you want to address it as far as uh you know going through it but uh you know that's that's where we're starting bob any input well, on I, that i think the letter is done well and I'm going to have to say up front, I believe in everything you're doing this way. I have my own personal things in this whole situation, but I, some of my things that I see can't help this, would only hinder what we're trying to do. And so it's easier to keep, I want to keep quiet for most of what I have that might deteriorate from this having some effect. Words, I think there's other things going on that aren't, you know, aren't fully brought out all the time, but to bring them out is only going to hurt what we're trying to do, so. Yeah. Okay. All right, um, just from an administrative standpoint, I just saw like a couple different things that I would change. Like As you were talking, like you added an S I there, did, so I, did, I yes. added an S yeah, for you. Yep. Just drafted this up. So. Um, and then we would, of course, want to make sure that we CC the, you know what I mean, just do a copy. I, it's no longer called a carbon copy. Do you know what that is, Rachel? <laughs> carbon copy. <laughs> um, but we should, you know, put them on there as well, the Pembroke Selectmen, the Herring Fisheries. There's, and a, uh, there's a whole list. When, this, when the Herring and Fisheries drafted their letter, there's a whole list of CCs. Perfect. I'm actually thinking that um, many of these letters go to Brockton, uh, Water Commission unanswered and they don't respond. I'm thinking that maybe we should address this to the mayor, mm -hmm. Mayor Carpenter in Brockton, because <coughs> there doesn't seem to be any response the from the Water Commission. The more people you send it to, the better off. You know, somebody, I, I'm thinking somebody might read it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can talk to uh, Bill, Bill talk about to this, that. Yeah, the but, uh, but I think that uh, may, you know, maybe a different approach going to the yeah. mayor, who actually is in favor of the town purchasing Aquaria, mm -hmm. might be a better uh, path and CC the Water Commission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, but we can, you know, again, this is all up for discussion. I'm mm -hmm. just thinking out loud. Okay. No, those are good ideas. So we can make sure that um, we all get on the same page, and especially let's get on the same page with um, the selectmen as well. I know Arthur Boyle, I had heard him on WETD the other day talking about it too, so I'm sure he has some involvement too. So I know that I also read that their thoughts, our next steps is to legally approach them if they don't respond <coughs> one more time. Again, is that what you heard? Again, you yet still, yeah. That's these are some of the reasons why I don't want to. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. I, I some of these other things I I might say here would take. take and I don't want that to happen. Yeah. I want to push it. The, the good the reasons why they should be doing something, not mm -hmm. giving them other. Okay. But yeah, but again, I think the more people you can get copies of this letter to, like the mayor and I don't know, city council. I mean, uh, you know. What does it cost to send the letter? Right? Well, that's oh, what I was wondering if you know, we should you, send it certified. Anyways, you can be sure. You signature. can be sure that if it goes to the water commissioners, they're not going to send it up. Right. Well, that's, that's why I was thinking. Than there, if they can possibly go to the help mayor, it. and then he can send it down. Yeah, yeah. That's why I say you. It seems like they the just top. put those letters in the circular yeah. file. I can remember nowhere. in the service that's when you wanted to say something good about somebody there you send it to the base commander because he took it and went all the way down the mm -hmm. down the line till it got there where if you just sent it across nobody ever saw it mm -hmm. so we can get in line with the selectmen okay. they, they're sending another letter as well 
And maybe we should know how many times we've approached them. You know what I mean? So when you do, if we send it to the mayor, we can say, you know, we've tried on, you know, three occasions. Here are the dates. These are, you know, attached for your review of the letters or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to bump it up to the mayor. Uh, but again, we can talk to yeah. selectmen, see which approach they're okay. taking to. So in essence, Good. No, there's no great. major, I, I'll clean this up just a little bit. right? I that was great. And then I'll send it back to you right. and I'll copy mm -hmm. Bill. And um, and see you know I, I think the again the biggest change might be uh, if everybody thinks it's uh, fruitful to send it to the mayor instead of the uh, water commissioner so okay. I'll well, have I think that, we're using I'll it everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, but at least to the water commissioner you know, the mayor the may city. not send it down too. Right. Right. Yeah, no, we'll if you send it everywhere, everybody's had a copy of it anyway. Yeah, yeah. they can't say we didn't see it. In the other draft of the letter, I saw it, they had um, sent it to uh, you know uh, Cutler. Uh, Demacito. I didn't see Tom Coulter on there, who should I think should be on there because he was an advocate, mm -hmm. you know, of this going back and actually sponsored a bill, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> at the state house, uh, okay. you know. So, but uh, but we'll keep working on it, and I think it's it's a good start anyway. Perfect. Okay. Good job. All right. Very good job. Okay. So. Um, I would like to think it's going to do some good. Unfortunately. I th um, we've got a long way to go, I think, to crack know, it, on this case. It's, I mean, it's a it's a journey. Uh, yeah. This is the yeah, first step. That's what I say. It's a journey. Yeah. It's a step and a step, yeah, and you got you got to take every step as it comes, and mm -hmm. some sometime you hope you can get a little farther with it. But. We'll build this on optimism. How's that sound? Yeah. <laughs> we'll be hopeful. So, uh, all right, perfect. I remember when they put the diversion mm -hmm. pipe in, how they were going to open up the lake for recreational use, or when they put the filter plants in. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we're going to build our filter plants, and now Silver Lake can become recreational. We'll have boats, we'll have fishing way out. Right. Yeah. Okay. How many years ago was that? Oh, yeah. That was not that of Sean. How many? That's that's within the last fifteen or twenty it was years. In the 1900s, yeah. Nineteen hundreds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I'm back in nineteen hundred. I just got back from Mount Washington Hotel. Look at following me. You know, the, when the filter plants went, that was the big cry for the mm -hmm. when they put the filter plants up there was. Uh, now we can open it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we I, can fill. We don't care what the water is because it's it's going to be filtered. Uh, I was down at Gore Mill today. Mm. It what a travesty it is down there. It is an absolute mess down there. Yeah. It's it's actually the water is just stagnant. Well, again, and rancid and disgusting. It's, Brockton was going to clean all of that up yeah. five years ago. He had a had a group down there. I happened to be there when the whole group toured the place. Uh, looking at it, and they were going to clean that whole, make it all look, got all the rubbish out of there, yeah. and, and all that. Nothing I, was done. As I saw what was sitting there at the diversion area today, mm -hmm. thinking that that's going to end up in Silver Lake at some point, uh, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. I said, no, it can't. You know, you, sh you should see it. It's, it is muck yeah, down there. It's just, disgusting. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have to stay on track here because we have Shane. Shane's here for all three, is what I am told. So it's now 7:13. So um, we don't have to vote or anything on this letter. So we're just going to continue to make revisions to that and make sure that um, Mark and Rachel are working together on that to make those adjustments. I'll just show you the couple little things that you, as you were talking, I wrote Thank down. Shane's got all three. Shane's here. All oh, three. Who do you know to Come arrange it that way? Join us, Mr. McGlone. Efficient. And have a seat anywhere. Okay. Um, What's up first? Do we so we have uh, 314 Mattachusett Street is up first. Okay, so 314 Mattachusett is an after mm -hmm. the fact RDA. We had an emergency situation down there. This is Lindy's, mm -hmm. and um, the septic was extremely failed, and the Board of Health was about to close it down. So we were able to get in there, do the repairs that we needed to do, and we filed the RDA after the fact on it. Okay. Do you need me to read through the whole? Yeah, you have to add, open it like it was a regular okay. thing. And okay, perfect. So uh, notice is hereby given of a public hearing conducted by the Pembroke Conservation Committee under the provisions of MGL Chapter 131, Section 40, Wetlands Protection Act on Monday, November 27, 2017 at 7, 10 p.m. in the Pembroke Town Hall to consider the request for determination of applicability filed on November 6, 2017 by Shane P. McGlone of McGlone Enterprises on behalf of Richard Worrell 
of 314 Mattachusett Street, Pembroke, Mass., to repair a septic system at an existing house located at 314 Mattachusett Street, Pembroke, Mass., as shown on Assessor's Map B7, Lot 274. This is if we send stuff to... Go ahead, no, no, go ahead. You got a 314 address, will Wall be able to get... Uh, um, a yes. lot of times, sometimes yeah. that that's will go just bounces everything that's around. That's one of his uh, yeah. official addresses. Okay. His son will get that. Okay. So, Bob, this is actually the first one that I've actually had. Yeah, yeah. Well, in this case, it's already all already in, done. done, accepted, approved, and, and taken Back care of. So, right. basically, uh, we've opened, I move, we close. Okay. Second. So... Um, we have a motion, right, to yep. accept the plan. No, we just moved it. Oh, just moved it. Okay, got to close it now. No, all right, we're closing it. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a second. So all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so we're all set on this one. Okay, I move we issue a negative three bill according to plan as built. <laughs> okay. That's a tricky one. We need to just take a vote on that. Yep, so we need a second on that, right? Second. Yep. All in favor? All right. Okay. Mark, we need a second? Yes. Thank you. Okay. So we're good on this one? Yep. Oh, do we just have to it. sign it? Well, we'll do it after. Sign them yeah, all after. Give it to her and she'll do this. Okay. She's got to pay for it. All right. So next is. Yeah, the next Forest. one is uh, 27 Forest Street. That's at 720, so we have yep. three minutes. Oh, we do? Four minutes, 720. Oh, I thought one was. Okay. And then after that, we have fish. So, sure. have to so how long have you been on the commission? Sure. Yeah, not too long. <laughs> um, when did I when did I get into this one? A couple months ago. Yeah, about August. a month ago. Yeah. August was it? August. August maybe. Yeah, because I was on ZBA, and then right. I decided to part ways there. And um, how long ago were you there? I was there for secretary here. 17 years ago. Really? No, yeah, I was the secretary for <laughs> conservation 17 years ago. That's why I'm like, but things are done a little bit differently here with this meeting than ZBA, so that's why I'm like, who's supposed to be doing what here? So. Mm -hmm. Why should your husband sit over there in the chair? Yeah. He doesn't have to stand. Mark, you Mark, can sit over there. here and sit in those chairs. Go sit in Come Tracy's in chair. Sit. Tracy doesn't mind. She's the queen. You can be the king tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Have, you've met Mark before, haven't you? I don't think I have. No? Mark, Shane McGlone. Hey, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we only have a few more minutes. Yeah, yeah, so I came here. There was, what, two or three? Three open spots? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, put in my application and... You're looking at them, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah these are the three. <laughs> That's the three, right? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 I was sort of talking to Sandra one day, and I was like, boy, wouldn't it be nice if you were on conservation? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Moment of weakness, I said. <laughs> <laughs> I think we that's how it works for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And we're very happy you all three of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I speak for my, and I know I'm speaking for Rachel, too. Yeah. Yes, I'm pleased. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. 718. Is there a green couch on this one? one? No. 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 Okay. No. No. Okay. Want to show me this one? Is this this one? Sure. Okay. So this is um, 27 Forest. Forest. I didn't get a chance to do a drive on any of these today. I think it's 20 pounds. Why don't you open it? Is it? Yep. Okay. Let me open this one. Yeah, go by my watch. I okay. can set it. All right, great. That's 719. Okay. Notice is hereby given of a public hearing conducted by the Pembroke Conservation Commission under the provisions of MGL Chapter 131, Section 40, Wetlands Protection Act, on Monday, November 27, 2017, at 7.20 p.m. in the Pembroke Town Hall to consider the request for determination of applicability 
I always have a hard time with that one, filed on November 6, 2017 by Shane McGlone of McGlone Enterprises on behalf of the Ruth, is it Pilcom? Sure. Estate of 27 Forest Street, Pembroke, Mass., to install a septic system upgrade at the same address as shown on Assessor's Map E7, Lot 19A. Right. So, Ruth's already left, but her house is being sold shortly. And we have a new family moving into town. And in order to facilitate that, we need a new septic system. So, the existing is behind the house. And what we're doing is we're proposing to put uh, the septic tank and the pump chamber behind the house because that's where the existing plumbing is and we, could, we couldn't move it. And a uh, leaching bed over on the side of the house. We get over the 100 feet. We need, we're need. we supposed to be 75 feet from the mm -hmm. wetlands. We got 104. And we got 61 is that? Yep. from the tank to the closest spot of the wetlands. Same plan. Okay. So um, that's what I'm doing. Plan's been approved by the Board of Health. And so there's no wells on the property. Correct. Shane, can I ask a question? Um, just because I am, I just am not familiar, and I didn't have a chance to look this up. Is it? It isn't. Is this a private sale? Do you know? Does it doesn't have anything to do with? I don't believe so. Okay. So. There's a sign out front with somebody's name on it. Oh, there is already. Yeah. It isn't. No, it's my sold. Okay. No, I don't believe so. I don't. I didn't. I it's met the yours. person. It's not ours? No, I guess. Yeah. Okay, great. So you don't have to explain. Okay, perfect. I just wanted to make sure and yeah. put that out there just to make sure. Um, but those are the things I'm usually looking for, just so you know. But I didn't have a chance to today. Well, business must be good if you're not sure if it's your list. <laughs> <laughs> not mine personally, but there's 57 agents in the office, so. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, my goodness. All right, Bob, what are your thoughts on this? He's doing all that can be done to it. Mm -hmm. It's you know, a lot. It, it says, this is all wet out here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the only place is here. Yeah, I like the idea of the field being moved up. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. uh, and you have it's going to be built up quite a bit, right? From where yeah, it gets out of the water table. This thing just moves in the water table. The new proposed one is the requisite um, five feet. It is what it is. We can't. We're doing the best we can for it. For what we have to work with. Mm -hmm. Move close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. okay. So Bob, now you have to give me the terminology that you want to say for this one. And we want to issue a negative two on oh, this three. Hello. Rachel. What do you want me to issue? Ne ne negative. Oh, <laughs> You're putting me on the spot here, Bob. I wanted to keep you awake. That's all. I'm writing. I'm <laughs> awake. Trust me, I'm writing it all down. Negative three. Negative three. Yeah. If we look in here, this is where we will find. Just so everyone knows what we're we're doing here. barrier out the back, it's going away, it's flat ground, yes. so. Alward's doing the job, he's pretty efficient. Yeah. Negative three with with a normal boiler plate of, of um, Yeah, I've got, I'm looking at it now. Yeah. Okay. We just put on a normal boiler plate for that. Sure. Yeah. Conditions? Okay. Do we have a second on that? I'm hearing I second it. All in favor? 
It's going to take a skilled installer for this one. I tried to make sure that only the, the two best installers that I know yeah. get a chance at it. Luckily, one of them is doing it. You can get in a lot of trouble over here if you yeah, don't have the right equipment. That's what I say. I'm, yeah. you know, as long as we use one, yeah, as long as we get one of your good installers, but other than that, a good rain and we could lose. That whole, yeah. that whole hill into the pond. <laughs> Notice is hereby given of a public hearing conducted by the Pembroke Conservation Commission under the provisions of MGL Chapter 131, Section 40, Wetlands Protection Act on Monday, November 27, 2017, at 7.30 p.m. in the Pembroke Town Hall to consider the request for determination of applicability filed on November 6, 2017 by Shane P. McGlone of McGlone Enterprises on behalf of Linda Costa of 7 West Fish Street, Pembroke, Mass., to install a septic system upgrade to an existing house located at the same address as shown on Assessor's Map B3, Lot 2990. So on this one here, we're looking to do... Essentially the same as the last two. Okay. So you see all these lines on here? Can these are all see? contours. Mm -hmm. So the pond down here... You know, it's right? at 59 relative to the top foundation, which is 100. So it's 41 feet below the you know, down today. And that happens at a 90 foot run. Yes. Wow. So it's an extremely <laughs> steep slope. So what we are proposing to do is put a 1500 gallon tank in here and we jam it right up against the existing building. We've got a variance to go from 10 down to 6 on that. And this uh, leaching field, which is also 10 off of each property line, we've got a variance to be 9 off of the building there. Luckily, there is a small flat spot here. It's not very flat, but you can see the lines are a little bit farther apart. And so we're going to put in a, not a very big wall, but a small wall kind of contains the slope right here. And that's the width they'll start out by doing. Just opening it up, building that, and that will really sort of yeah. protect us from what you were talking about at the, after that. Once he's got the tank in the ground, it, it's an easy job to finish. That, With that wall, wall there, is he still going to be able to work in here? Is he going to be able to get in there? Yeah, I, he's going to he's going to most likely start by you know either yeah. getting the tank right in, building the wall around it, or building the wall and putting the tank in front of it. Yeah, my uh, my own. Uh, Thought we were just looking at it quick was that if the wall wasn't in first, then maybe we want another oh yeah another set of no, something. No, they wouldn't be able it. to put the wall in after the legion for sure. Yeah. That so the wall's going in first, yeah. and then they go in front of it. Yeah. And the wall um, is it's like three point eight. Looks like. Now, are you going to be able? To are you employed to supervise this being put in? I'm, I'm always employed to supervise. Yeah. Well, that's, a, I mean, that's my job, make yeah. sure that it goes off. Well, right. I just want to make sure that yeah. you know, someone's there. To, yes. you know, even though you're saying we're going to use the top to a couple, it's still 
a still a touchy, a touchy one to work on. And especially this time of year, if they're going to do it between now and spring, because who knows what the weather does. Right. It's not one that you want to start. Get yeah, and get that way and, and yeah. stop when it starts mm -hmm. snowing. And they know it. He's got a small window. Take advantage of that. How, How long is this long? Well, this is a 10 scale plan. So this is about 65 feet. Mm -hmm. right there. What do they have now currently? What's the system that they have now? There's a cesspool right here in the street. Um. This is the property line here. I was going to say, so this house is actually in the street? Yeah, technically, exactly. Not unusual in this town. Is, is that a dirt road or a paved dirt road? Uh, well, it's paved now, but this is a little trickier area. See where this is actually the traveled way out here. So the traveled way is actually on this piece of property. This guy's law, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there, it, there's a lot of places in town where the roads aren't and where the roads are supposed to be, and they, that's where they've been for years. And you don't, unless you have neighborly problems, it's right. okay. And then. And and quite often they're, yeah. they're just paper roads and, and we go up to the center line each person can sort of go to the center line. Yeah. Well, again, this is a, it's a sewer system. system. It, is, it is what it is and um, you know, you know, hey, he's done all he can do you know, to get it into a lot. So I move it close. I second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 So what is this one? I move we issue negative three building coordinate plans with our normal boilerplate and ask Shane to make sure that Gets put in right. we do all we can not to have a <laughs> Shane will be there. Yes. <laughs> do we have a second? And, and, and you'll be telling Shane, it's heard my story before. If you have a problem, let me know right away. Oh, uh, sure. And why I tell the contractor that is, he lets me know right away. I can look at it. And we make it as small a problem as possible. If it gets out and around and it comes back the other way, a lot of times it's a lot bigger than, than it has to be. So mm -hmm. problems happen. We just have to be able to work with them. Okay, I second Bob's motion. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Okay. Perfect. That was it. So we're all set. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think on these ones, this is a tough one, though. I think you need to have the yeah. best of the best. Yeah. So. Yeah. Let me know when they're going to support that. Sort of what do you sure. want to keep on top of it, too? I'm not sure when exactly. I think that um, the old man lives there during the summer and then he goes to Florida during the winter. So mm -hmm. I think that they were going to try to do it in, either this time in the year or in the spring before they get back to there. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, because building that wall is going to be. That's going to be a little bit of a project in itself, no? They can do it. What <laughs> <laughs> they should do is do a few thousand. Stuff now, yeah. Nice to work yeah, yeah, we just bang yeah. 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 Okay, thank you. All right, thanks, Shane. All right, Great right. to Bye. see you. Bye-bye. All right, so... Uh, the things left to sign? They were all in there. I need to take them out. They were all in there. We can just go through those. We can sign them now. And we can go through the mail. I don't know, I haven't gone through it yet. Anything else of discussion for anybody? Old business? Mm -hmm. Mr. Madden is in here this evening uh, regarding the plans for trees and planting of the trees. I'm going to run as long as we have the second one we'll sign is uh, <coughs> the trees that we have that are we call tree banked with the recreation people. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to get the okay to go ahead and try to work out a plan where we might find out what our, the trees would cost 2300 times three, what they would be worth dollar and cent wise, and then get recreation to ask for that kind of money from wherever they're going to get it from and have them put it into our forestry account as money and then have this board buy the trees as needed for use in the town rather than running back and forth every time we're looking for a few trees. Also what that allow us to do, and we've talked about it, is instead of planting 2,300 trees of this size, we may want to plant, take whatever number it takes to 
50 of these little ones to make one of this size and plant a decent tree in places in town rather than a hundred little ones. I, I like that. I, I think those saplings basically yeah. have a, you know, a oh, yeah. iffy success rate and yeah. I think that it's a better investment to buy a more mature tree that has a better chance of surviving. And we could put, that way we could use a more mature trees in visible spots around town rather than putting them elsewhere. And I'm not against Rick wanting to plant trees in some of these places, but I think we can get those trees from other sources where there's people that, and companies that will give you the little trees where you won't get them to give you a big tree. Right. It's probably uh, too, too late in the season now, but you know, this is a great time to buy trees. Right? Yeah. Everybody's clearing up their inventory, and uh, I don't know if it's, you know, at the end of time, it might not be right, but it's still good planting. I don't know if it's, uh, is that something you think that's... Yeah, well, okay. if we do it this way, we've got to get the... Recreation's got to get their money for these trees. Uh, I think you... I, well, maybe I'll start the story from one. The re How this all came about is when the ball fields wanted to be expanded down in Bryantville. Mm -hmm. That was conservation mm -hmm. land, and boys baseball wanted to expand. And we went back and forth. We didn't really want them cutting down the forest. And so we looked all over town trying to interest them in other land. And they always kept coming back there. So finally, we said, all right, well, we'll let you cut the forest, but you're going to have to replace the trees three to one. For every tree you cut down, yeah, times three, you yeah. need, yeah. we're going to want three trees. But this was really with boys baseball and not recreation. But that we couldn't negotiate with boys baseball because boys baseball is not a town organization and boys baseball rents the fields from the recreation. So recreation ended up being the facility that was handling it all. So now that years have gone by, they're handling it. They don't really know why they're handling it and what we're telling them how mm -hmm. to develop that way. But it was, uh, that was the story that, you know, to get the ball fields, we took this in return. We call it a bank of trees so that whenever we needed them in the future, we could ask for them. But at the time, we didn't have any place to put that number of trees. So it's recreation's um, budget. Yeah. It's, it needs to come out of the recreation budget. And I think they can do it over a three years. In other words, it's... Oh, you don't, you're not going to do 70000 at once. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I think, in other words, if we say go over a three-year period or, okay. or whatever, the saplings aren't very expensive, as I remember. It's about a buck or so. Yeah, no, they're very cheap. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah like a buck. So twenty-three hundred would only be two thousand three hundred dollars. Six hundred, not thousand. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh hundreds. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I say. It's not not big money, but it is money if it isn't in your budget. So right. I think that's the way I'd like to work and try to approach and see if everybody will agree to do it that way. Because if we go to them and say we want 400 trees, they still don't have the money in the budget for 400 trees. They've got to get the money. But, you know, it's another year of wrangling where if we divert trees to cash and put it in our forestry, revolving forestry account where we can take it out as we need it and we accomplish what we originally were trying to do. So the money that I remember you saying a few, uh, a couple meetings ago that we had some money in that's our another, account. That's another that's, account, yeah. That's for forestry, but that was what, when they took down the that's trees? Too, and that's the, from the cutting wood. down when we, when we thin the forest. We have money still left oh, there, but, and it has to be used for forestry okay. type activities. Okay, but different from where it's this is? It's different, would be, yeah. I would, I would and personally, I like to see it set up in a separate account anyway, and then it came from there as a separate line item. This is, you know, this is trees, not mm -hmm. not just general forestry. So... To be planted by volunteers. Yeah, well, that's right. We're, you know, that's what Rick and them all, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, with the, if you get trees of size, DPW might be the people that would would plant them, all the far, uh, the cemetery can recreate. Where, you know, they, there's a lot of places in town where they could put probably trees probably like that. Yeah, I mean, but where. That, if they know they have it, then they can start visualizing and decide what they need and be able to buy them when they need them, not just in the spring. And it's with us. Why? Why is it all? That's where I'm sort of confused. Like, why everything is here? Is it because Rick and our 
Well, brought this up, but like, why isn't it with? Isn't like DPW? Isn't that who takes care of trees and forestry and all that? Yeah, but the land, the land that they took the trees off of was conservation land. Okay. So it was, it's our. They were our trees that were being cut. It was our trees, recreation's money. Rec well, recreation got boys baseball was going to pay for it and do all the work. This deal was struck many years ago, okay, but, yeah. but those trees have been in the bank, so to speak. Yeah, so they've just been years. in the bank okay. all this yeah. time, and uh, so now it's we got to get them out of the bank, and things are different now. And I don't know. My personal opinion is recreation ought to go to boys baseball mm -hmm. to get the, this money because that was. Right what the arrangement really was. Right, but technically that's their issue. Yeah, right? yeah. that's their issue, yeah. yeah. That's their issue, not our, our issue and all. Uh, so we don't have the money to give until we get it from recreation, I guess that's where Oh, we're no, we have money. In other words, well, we could use our money yeah. any way we wanted to. In mm -hmm. other words, our tree money could be used for this project. Okay. To but we have, this, we have these in the bank, so yeah. rather than that's continually in the bank yeah. and and fewer and fewer people understand how they got there and why they are there. Mm -hmm. If we convert it, if we can convert it to a cash line item, then when people whoever needs trees and mm -hmm. conservation feels it's a it's a worthwhile thing, yeah. and conservation say, okay, here's some money to go buy you yeah. the trees you need. Mm -hmm. okay. So what are I, think, I, like, I think we'd like to go ahead with that. If, I mean, I'll yeah, I'll pilot it through the different people to get their response before yeah, we do one. something on it. I read that. So do we need but a again, we're Rick, Rick and them you know, want trees for spring, and there's just no way we can get monies anywhere else other than our, our other forestry account mm -hmm. if we decide that what he wants to do is what should mm -hmm. be done to that extent. We, in other words, we can use our, for our other forestry money to right. buy trees too. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can use that for anything. So I hate to even ask the question, but is there any jeopardy of not getting reimbursed uh, by recreation or is that the... Uh, no, it's one? pretty well known around okay. town that they are on the hook for... Okay for these trees anyway, but converting them from trees to dollars, you know, is the only thing we really need to, to sell. Mm -hmm. And it's not, in in monies, it's not big money. You know, $2,300 in some of their accounts is not a lot compared to it. What I don't, we already looked at CPC and we said no, right? Mm. I don't think we can get, I don't think recreation can get that money from CPC. Does CPC have to go through town meeting? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. They, they, yeah. they first have to approve the application okay. and it gets forwarded on to town meeting. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, that's, that's again, it's not our, it's recreation if we can right. sell them this way of doing so it. Rick was going to get a, a proposal for cost for trees. And yeah. It would go to recreation. Yeah, well, that's, that's my, my, my plan for it is to go out and get some idea of what. What 2300 uh, well, I'm saying 23 because I'm working on one year, one third of it in my mind. What those 2300 trees are worth if they had to go out and buy these trees like this because mm -hmm. that's really what they're on the hook for is like 18 inch, uh, right. dirt free root. Good well, but those are right. The other thing, too, is those are, um, you know, bare root trees, yeah, or saplings, right? Right, and yeah. you need some kind of material to basically plant them, and so it's more than just the trees because you need proper material to. To, yeah, to the, a lot of the saplings, we were just, if you've got the right ground surface, you make a nice hole, shove them in, <coughs> put the so dirt the around, as long as they can keep soil. moist. Yeah. The biggest mm -hmm. thing was, you know, if you plant them in April or May and the heat comes up, I mean, they dry out and die from, yeah. no, no, not having a good root system yet. Right. And I've heard them say that a, that a third Casualty is not unusual in in them. Uh, yeah, and um, certainly we did, not, I did some. Heard. I did some many years ago when we, but we were able to water them, right, so right. we didn't lose yeah. anywhere near that kind of a, yeah. a thing. Right? I think some people might say there's usually there could be a third uh, success yeah. rate. You yeah. know, it's good. So, you know, so it's uh, dicey at best with the bare root trees. So I guess I'm a, I'm a little um, skeptical about the bare root trees, and I, I would yeah. like the idea of going to the bigger trees that have a. Yeah. Root ball and root system that can be put yeah. in the ground, and uh, you know, again, I think that makes more sense. But 
Well, you get 2,300 of those. <laughs> well, maybe you only get 1,500 of them or something, yeah, you know. Yeah. Right? But, but, you know, again, I think right. they're going to Yeah, even succeed. if we only have 100 big trees, it's better to have a 100 big Living trees ones. than it is. Yeah. 2,300 yeah. yeah. trees that aren't going to do anything. Exactly. Yeah. You're not going to take, you know, 25 years to be anything. Good idea. Oh, no, this yeah. suddenly sounds like an SAT math question. <laughs> so how many people does it take to plant all these trees? Like, how many volunteers are we going to need? Lots. <laughs> Lots. And, uh, Lots. And uh, unfortunately, uh, this is what I've been trying to make sure Rick understands. He says he understands, but, mm -hmm. you know, the first 100 trees, you get a lot of volunteers for the first 100. But if you're at 400, by the time you get to the 400, a lot of them have done all the bending over and pushing and digging and all they want. And yeah. you don't have any window. I mean, when you get these bare-rooted trees, yeah. they've got to go in the ground. I mean, it doesn't, one or two days out of the ground and they're, they're out of the ground. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, so we don't have to vote or do anything on this, right? What are our next mm -hmm. steps on this? We no, just have to like I'll, I'll work the plan ahead and then bring it back when we get okay. some better numbers and better ideas of whether people are going to buy our, our thoughts. Okay. I thought that Sabrina had done it. Didn't she do some quick research when this first came up? I think it was like a dollar twenty-five, yeah, or yeah. like a dollar yeah. twenty-seven per yeah. it, 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 it varies something. on what type of of a tree, whether you're talking about a northern spruce or a northern this, this or whether you're just a regular like one. I mean, yeah, they're, they're, they, but they all run in that general dollar mm -hmm. vicinity. Out of curiosity, uh -huh. who would be the vendor? Who do you buy the trees from? Uh, there's a, lots of different places. And what he had done, it, he had one of the local landscape people that yeah. he had quoted okay. from. But in the spring, the uh, state forestry people have They'll, you'll see they'll send around and say you can buy these kind of trees through them. Does the National Opera Society do anything like that too? I get a, I get a lot of their information. They, I've never saw where they really did that. They more or less want your money so they can do something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, they 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 give you the that. trees so you can plant them. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's uh, send, send us some money and we'll have them planted over here somewhere. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there is pretty, even the uh, a few years back, uh, one of the uh, lumber people, uh, warehouses or one of them, we had talked to, and they said, "Well, you know, if you want some trees, you know, we have programs, and we can get you some of them in the spring and all." Okay. Okay. Anybody else have any any business that they want to discuss? I just got the one thing I bring up, and hopefully, yeah. it, hopefully, it won't go the route of the business guys and the IDs, but. Mm -hmm. uh, would it be possible to have like a you know a four by six map of the town with areas that you know designate which what lands are owned by conservation? I mean, it's you know it's I know when you're when you, you know, yeah, when you've been around for a long yeah, time, you yeah. know these things, but I hear all these lots of land. I have no idea where they are, and I would just it's, it would just help to tie in. Well, that, that's that. But it's, we have there is a master uh, plan of the town. Okay, with all of them mm -hmm. different colors. Is there a for way that we can? Have one posted. Yeah, there's usually, there used to be one on the wall, right around the corner, somewhere. No, that zoning, I think, is the one right around the corner. There. Yeah, and there's, there's, they're around. There's like five or six different colors for, you know, conservation well, land you, and deep land. Map. But you know, the assessors, you know, you have to feed through 50 pages yeah. there. No, if, I, if you go online, there's um, on the assessor's map. They have layers now. So you can see the layers yeah. of different things that are conservation yeah. and everything, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 Have you, you seen that? So I have you can just you can look at the most recent. You have right. I'd like to have one that we can reference. Yeah, Not and look at. Yeah. Oh, oh, we can well, well, yeah. You know, like something that we can. Yeah. Have, well, you know, they're, they're, they are around too, but they're not. There is probably um, three foot, three or four foot by two foot is the the okay. size okay. that has been around here. It's regular wall. Well, maybe we can get one made and put it right there behind yeah. Rachel's yeah. head. Yeah. I mean, well, even, you know, even for the purpose of all the ponds and how they all flow together. I mean, these are things that, you know, would be helpful mm -hmm. to me. But yeah. planning, bo planning board has been in charge of that. Merrill has done the, has done the job and Merrill is supposed to keep them updated, but that doesn't always happen. Open space yeah, had, that, should, had that in back in the other did, plan. Did you get, um, receive the most recent open space plan? Not yeah. yet. But even an old one would be yeah. the same because you can't just pull things out of conservation <laughs> that easily, unless you go to Beacon Hill. But, 
But see, um, from home, you could bring this assessor's map up. Okay. And you, this is the whole town, obviously. But you, there's a space up here where you click on find, and you can put in any street address. Like so, if and it'll bring you to, to that particular yeah. location. It'll show you <coughs> conservation land on a particular piece of property, or you can enlarge it to be a bigger area. Okay. See where it says layers. So you already clicked on. Yeah, layers. I'm already on the layers. This so is showing you the wetlands. Is that Oliver? Is that the mass just? Yeah. Oliver? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so like if you too. if you put in all areas owned by conservation, is it is that going to pop up on the map? Well, what I have for a layer right now is. It's DEP wetlands. Okay. So it shows marshes. What marshes are in blue? So if you skim it from that far away, if you could see this area that's blue, that's a marsh area. Um, the orange is considered wooded swamp. Okay. And then anything? Well, I don't see any green, but oh, maybe over this way, which is not even in Pembroke, but that's considered a salt marsh. So maybe it's marsh field. Um, but you can okay. zoom in and zoom out and, okay. and select particular addresses or particular areas of the town and it'll show you all of that. And you can also click on things like if you want to see vernal pools, certified vernal pools, okay. stuff like that. that. Yeah. I'll look around find it. We did have a wall one, but it may be a few years behind mm -hmm. time right now. It may need to be updated. Rachel, can we just maybe see this if we can find where we can get one and if we could just, yeah. just just have yeah. a visual while we're here during meetings and stuff. Sure. It might just be helpful for our butters and things like that as well. Used to come used to come out of playing oh, you're lucky. Okay. Bob, are you gonna sign these? <laughs> so all right. Do we so we'll look into that. I just okay, asked great. Rachel if she could look into finding us for a wall size. Yeah, yeah for a wall great. size, okay. then we'll just have it here. Uh, but that's a really good tool. To use to see online, it's I'll check can, it out. yeah. Even just go to Town of Pembroke <coughs> and assessors. Okay, um, you can see it. Perfect. And then um, that also brings you to right to Patriot Properties. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So Patriot Properties has all the assessments and everything too, which is a really good tool as well. I this tool is one that says as well. So I just okay. go to Google and grab it. Because yeah. you know, I, I think a couple of meetings ago you were talking about uh, lands that are coming up at the at the auction yeah. that we might want. So I've just you know been trying to piece mm -hmm. all of these together and I. I hear the names of these blogs or blog numbers. Well, I, you know, yeah. I don't know what that is. And it's just I feel like I'm operating. Uh, if I start talking that way, slap me in. The <laughs> <laughs> I. That's why I'm sitting here. We will allow no slapping. Okay. Yeah, when, that's when why you, I'm when you, you. When you were secretary, Mark was there and all yeah, that. I know. We could really boost people. Exactly. I know. So, any other other business anybody wants to discuss or? Mm -hmm. Anyone want to make a move to close this meeting? Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Good job, guys. Thank you. I'm just going to read through the mail. I have a piece of candy. One mint. Okay. Thank you. Two pictures special. Thank you. Um, you know what's interesting is, you know, like with this whole, I was thinking about the, you know, replacing trees and all that. I wonder why it doesn't come into effect with the town bought exactly. property like near my house. Yes, it means it's evolved. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 